starting our morning with pancakes. Buttermilk hot cakes. Because the other day when I made the butter, which is just about out now, today will probably be today or tomorrow, I'll probably be our last day with it. Um, the other day when I made the butter, I had an equivalent amount of buttermilk. And this morning, that was like three days ago, this morning I was like, I should make buttermilk pancakes. How do the pancakes taste? Perfect. Pretty good. I would say, I would argue, these are actually super good pancakes. Um, I didn't really think it was gonna taste all that different from, this was a recipe from Joanna Gaines' book. I think the second, her second, no, her first book. The same one that has the after school banana bread, which I believe is the first cookbook. Anyway, she has like buttermilk pancake recipe and I was like, cool, I'm gonna do that. But you know, they're made from scratch. So it's flour and baking powder and baking soda and salt and sugar and whatever. I think they're really good. I'm not normally a fan of pancakes. It's not that I think they're bad. They're just like, to me, they've never been worth it to me. Like. Well, some of them are actually not that good. Some of what? Some pancakes? Yeah, sometimes pancakes are not very good. <sighs> that injury that I had um, from whenever, like a month ago, in my back, uh, it never quite healed and I re-aggravated it. And it is, it's torture. Yesterday I was just standing and all of a sudden I just was like overcome and like bawling. Like, cause I, I it's just so painful. It's all the way down my butt, so it sucks. So I've been stretching and stretching and stretching and trying to like, deal with that. Something is wrong, obviously. I'm just really hoping it'll just go away. It's very frustrating. So anyway, not to be Debbie Downer, I have just been so obsessed with like making jams and butter and, and pancakes. I made pancakes. That's what I was calling you down so you could eat. You should try it with the jam. Jade is like not willing to, but I it's I tried the waffles with the jam, but I didn't like them. It's so good. Like I just did it with, I just did that one with the jam. Also mom made these from scratch. Oh, lost friends. There will be a new YouTube channel video on my channel soon, most likely. Maybe two. Stop self-promoting you. Why? She can self-promote. Yeah, I can um, self-promote. Mom's self-promoting when she's on her own channel. Um, also have a sourdough <laughs> going right now, so this is rising. It'll be cooked up later because I believe we are officially out of sourdough. As of this morning, where did those two pieces from yesterday go? Maybe Lewis had some. I've only had two pieces of the. the well, place. you snooze, you lose, brother. I'm gonna make Jay some eggs right now. Now that is something I'm still working on is finding some local eggs. Um, I haven't found super local ones. Well, they're local enough, but we have to go to the farmer's market to get them, and they're like seven dollars for a for I want to call them a twelve pack um, per dozen. Kind of a lot. So they say that they're all extra a couple of them are pre-buttered. You can add some more. You can use that knife. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? So we're going to, I'm pretty much like doing a start sourdough every four days or so. And we cut it the next day now because I, I do like to let it sit. I find it works out a little bit better if I just let it kind of sit. Um, I'm going to make the kids, do you want eggs or no? no. So I'm going to make Jason eggs. And then Nala's got library club today. Mm-hmm. So, Jane, I need you to give me your blind book, please. Oh, I did check on my garden this morning. I've been dealing with some bugs. The I just bought something to catch Japanese beetles because I saw a bunch of those yesterday. Hopefully that thing works. And then also hopefully it kind of doesn't work. I saw those too. I saw squash bugs too. And then I have a little caterpillar moth butterfly situation going on. you say you kind of hope that it doesn't work? Because it's disgusting the way that they all just pile into the bag. Like, barf, bro. Ew. I like beetles. Great. Well, I'll let you dispose of them. Someone's like, you'll have to call local waste or says something like that online. I was like, I gotta call somebody to pick these beetles up? And then I was like, well, what else? What, what am I gonna do with them if I collect bags of them? But they've been destroying uh, my broccoli plants and now they are, they got their eyes set on my squash plants. And it's a no for me, dog. Oh, and my cucumber plants. It's a no for me, dog. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. If it happens, it happens, but it's not gonna happen. So I have a little update on the spray bottle I was using the other day, remember, with the Dawn, had a little bit of Dawn, had a little bit of oil in it. Um, so it worked in killing all my plants. Look at this. Look at this. This is like two days later. Look at this. Yeah, it's dead. It's, it's done. It's done so. It's done so. And you know what the real kicker is? Because it was the stupid broccoli that started the whole thing because, you know, the um, worms, the caterpillars, whatever, wouldn't leave it alone. The kicker is that it's still covered in them and they didn't even die. 
Like, come on. All, all my pepper plants are, this is, I mean, I'm going to let them attempt to come back, I guess. But, like, th- th- there's really no, there's no saving this. I've already thrown out, if you can see, you see all the parts that don't quite look like grass? Those are all leaves from the pepper plants. They're literally all dead. Like, RIP to the competition. Me. I was the competition. I killed y'all. So this pepper was able to ripen. These ones are supposed to stay little, so I guess I can pick these. Um, Whether or not they're still going to grow, I literally have no idea. I doubt it. So (sighs) I'm just going to, you know, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to regroup, okay? It's fine. Players mess up too. Um, I'm going to regroup. Thankfully, the, the cucumber plants seem to be okay. They did have some damage for sure. They definitely had some damage. Um, but I think overall, they are just bigger and stronger, and I think they're going to be fine. I'm going to rip out the um, broccoli plant anyway because I just don't – I don't care. I already harvested from it. It's been a pain in my butt. It's whatever. But the habaneros are done. Cayennes are done. Serranos are done. Jalapenos are done. Um, they're just done. Now, the, I'm saddest about the bell pepper plants because I don't have any more bell pepper plants anywhere else. These probably should have never been here. And maybe this was just um, me coupled with nature. So, like, my stupidity plus nature uh, just destroying these so that I could plant something else that makes more sense. The kale plants also got all messed up um the lettuce too but I I do think I can the lettuce will survive because it's big enough uh this one I think is going to seed I'm I'm not sure but anyway uh the tomatillo plant survived however (laughs) the sunflower I, I I have no idea I don't know how sunflower grows you can see it has some pretty serious damage um I probably should have left that one alone but I was a little you know whatever I was going crazy uh you look like like I said, these ones, a bunch of them still have caterpillars or worms or whatever. I just smack them. You see, there's one right there. Um, yeah, so it's not even fixing, didn't fix the problem, didn't do, really didn't do anything. So I just smacked the crap out of them. There's another one right there. Just uh, me versus the worms? They won. Y'all won. Y'all got me this time. Thankfully, I didn't go crazy on like my tomato plants. So these all appear to be just fine. Over here, we also have some damage. There's damage everywhere, but I think a lot of it is survivable damage. Uh, Again, we have these stupid broccoli plants that are, honestly, it's not even worth it because they're really not producing. And I heard that these grow better in the fall anyway. So I think I should just yank them all out and then start them over maybe like the end of July. Right? Is that about the right time? And I can do like broccoli, cabbage, kale, as like a fall harvest and you know whatever it's my first year y'all I will say I was doing really well prior to me attempting to naturally you know get rid of bugs oh okay it's not all bad news do you see that bag over there that is full disgustingly okay not the garbage um disgustingly like just packed full of those Japanese beetles gross right not gonna act like I'm not sad about this I am but I just think that it's not a big deal to lose the broccoli it is a big deal to lose the peppers I'm mad that I lost the peppers I do have jalapeno plants which jalapenos are the peppers that I wanted the most I have them in a pot somewhere else and those ones are fine so it's fine it's gonna be fine it's not fine right now but it's gonna be fine so I think I need to take a day to readjust these I did get the extenders I want to readjust them maybe today I'll need help though because um yeah like I said before I I messed something up uh I like there's something jacked up in my back like my very lower lower it's not like my it's not like regular back pain it's like I clearly messed something up um again or probably the same thing and it was just re-aggravated the other day but I need help doing it this time so NBD that's what I did don't do what I did if you want to be smart let me be the guinea pig and you be the little scientist who discovers the things after I do that. <laughs> oh, it's like a million degrees out here. I need to go inside. But um, I, I shook I shook them loose a bit. I shoved some of it into the dirt and then a bunch of it just down there. Um, you know, whatever happens, happens. I'm okay with that. Schaefer's has all their stuff 50% off because it's like, you know, really late in the season. 
So maybe if they have some pepper plants, I'll just go and snag one. I only need one. I didn't need all of these. And then I, these are just some of the little snacking ones that grew. Um, and then as far as the kale goes, I just chopped all the leaves off because the, the stem or whatever, that should still be fine. And they just keep regenerating anyway. So, you know, I'm confident those will come back. And if they don't, they don't. Like, I am like dripping in sweat. And considering I just took a shower, that's nasty. It's disgustingly hot outside. And right now, um, in real time or whatever, the air quality is like super horrible here. Uh, Chicago's got the worst air in the world right now. According to the news. All that to say, I don't feel like spending too much time outside today. Hello, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. I don't know if this is the beginning of a vlog or not, but I've been living life, okay? I'm pulling up to my mom's house right now. And I don't know why this is so funny, but um, oh, she's about to get in the car too. I just thought she's gonna get in so fast. Um, I, I'm i listening to Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. And the, there's a scene where like the grandpa, <laughs> why is this? Okay, sorry, I'm having like an allergy attack too. So I'm really like going through a few things right now. But the grandpa is like, <laughs> he really wants a cigarette. And he tells this girl, he looks at her and says, give me a cigarette or I'm going to tell him that you're hitting on me. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, okay, it's not that funny, but it's hilarious to me. Anyway, I'm going to the farmer's market with my mom. See you later. Yeah, all the little bikes. Adorable. How cute. See, if the kids were here, they would have asked me to buy these. And that's why you leave the children at home. So many plants here. I gotta go check out these veggies over here. We just got our cheese. Cheesed up. Empanadas. Because I'm starving. Giant cheese roll. Yeah. <laughs> Ungodly hot outside now. Not sure what happened, but all of a sudden, melting. What? I'm gonna do the same thing. Two of those. So cute. <laughs> Sometimes this is pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Not not bad. You like it? Look at our little. What is this? A river? River. It's actually got some water in it. Look at that. The dam got, is still damming. The dam is damming it up right now. It's doing the damn thing. I think that's where that came from. Right. Oh, yeah. You know what? Ashley was like, you have to go down there. Have you been there? No. So cute. Yeah, you little pothead. <laughs> I've been meaning to come in here. It has a very strong scent. Like it smells like you're in a clean, like. Yeah, and then I'll open a coffee shop next door. Lewis always, Lewis always promises it to to get. He always promises to open a, a coffee and bookstore for me, and I'm always like, I don't want that anymore. I just want to. I don't want to work. And he's like, No, and this is very passive. Yeah, he's like, someone else can work. You'll just have it. Yeah, this place is literally adorable. I wish you could smell it in here. The, the whole vibe, I'm getting this. It's going on my bookshelf. I love it all. I love it all, tiny little things. Okay, I don't do sage, but you know who's like motherhood? I heard that. Fun little earrings. We don't play with eyes either. Oh, a big spoon. I love spoons. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. All of a sudden it got so humid and hot, even though it was kind of raining earlier. My hair is beautiful, I look lovely. Um, we're gonna go with that. The coffee was so good. This is from Dapper Brews, which is a little cart. And it's so cute, because you guys know that my mom and Nala were gonna do the cookie thing. Um, and I'm, I already talked about it, but my mom's gotta have a surgery that is gonna put her out of commission for a while. Um, and it, so it just wasn't gonna work out. Obviously she hasn't had it yet, but she, it's already scheduled. So um, it didn't work out for them to do it this year, unfortunately, but that's okay, because you know, God's 
timing is perfect. Um, so should it happen? Anyway, I was saying if they did it. Oh, look, my mom made it in. I gotta go pee. Oh, the Jaden should get a little coffee cart and put it next to it. That is so funny. Yeah. Hey, baby. Just got home. Uh, we're just gonna scoop the kids and leave. Can I just one second to tell you this is the book I was cracking up about earlier. I'm in love. Like I'm feeling like my love for the Spanish love deception love. This is my favorites shelf. All of these books made me feel like I, well, with the exception of Twice Shy, they made me feel like, oh my gosh, I don't wanna leave this world like this world I'm not trying to leave the world I don't want to leave this world and um I'm only I'm not even halfway through but I'm already there like <sighs> I love this book so much I so I can't wait to get back into it but I'm gonna enjoy the real life with my real family right now um oh my gosh this company I never heard of them before I'm just walking by I'm, I'm trying to give you guys a haul of what I got <laughs> I ended up on their PR list I'm sure my manager gave them my address and it's called Shameless Snacks, right? Raspberry Sour Scouts Gummies, OMG Peach. Oh, sorry, that's the front. And then What's Up Watermelon. And they look just like Smart Sweets. If you've ever had Smart Sweets, and you guys know I used to love Smart Sweets, especially when I was like super restrictive. I love Smart Sweets, but just like as a regular, regular candy, right? So this is 70 calories for a serving, which is a lot less than your traditional gummy candy. Um, for some reason, the packaging gave me like cbd vibes like i thought it was gonna have some kind of additive like that uh so i had to double check before i let the kids try them but they randomly showed up one day and they sat outside for a little while so they got a little bit warmer and chewier and they were so good so much better not that i want to crap on smart sweets but so much better than smart sweets and smart sweets um they, they kind of hurt my stomach sometimes but actually the kids took some to the movies yesterday so i'm curious now that they've been sitting inside at room town if they were any different Let's go ask. How were those gummies now that they weren't warm? They were the exact same. They were still really good. They're way better than the small sweets, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Way better. Though. Way they, better? They tasted better than the texture was better. They tasted like actual, like, Candy? they tasted like the little Sour Patch watermelons. Isn't that crazy? They did a really good job. Yeah. We got these overnight oats. Those are from my mom's house. Those are for Jada. She really Ooh. likes those. She. But my mom likes them. This garden store run by this Mexican gal. So the vibes in the store were incredible. This, and it came loaded with mazapan. Oh. Just kidding, it didn't come loaded with it. These are, oh, these are giant ones. mazapans. We love these. Don't we eat it right now. I know, I'm gonna eat one. Oh, they gave you little stickers. Oh, I want them. They okay, this cute little plant. And then I bought this spoon, which I love wooden spoons. This was 18 bucks. And it says, I comida en la casa. Which my mom never said, but she did say it in English. Puffy. I bought these for the kids because they really needed them. They haven't had enough sugar lately. These are little firecracker cups. They're so cute. Oh, the way you just are dip, those? you dip it. It's, it's like, like a dunkaroo. Fun. It's like that's what I meant. Not yeah, a it's like a dunkaroo. You just dip it. Here, put oh, them in the no, fridge because no. they're starting to melt. I bought myself a singular cinnamon roll. I don't normally eat cinnamon rolls, but it's because they're too big normally. Cinnamon rolls are like 1,200 calories, and this one looks like it's a respectable 480. This looks like a single serve cinnamon roll. I'm not sure that it's cooked. No, it has to be. Mm -hmm. Right, because why would they put that on there? Um, this was from whatever this place was called. It looked like a woman and like her daughters, right? It looked like her like teenage daughters or something. Ooh. One is never enough. Oh yeah, sassafras treats. And then I bought one singular cookie. I'll just have you know that the cookies my mom and I were making were three times this size. <laughs> Oh, and they from were, the farmer's market? Yeah, this was from the farmer's market. Get next summer, so get ready, bros. Get ready, bros. Oh, I forgot I bought a pack of eggs. Can you set these in there? Forgot about this. It's warm now. It was cold. What Ooh, is that? Red onions have been so good. I taught Jaden how to make wraps. Go do your hair. And he's been doing wraps with, like, fresh red onions. You like it? And then I bought a bunch of these cucumbers because I wanted pickle stuff. So I bought the pickling cukes, some asparagus, two hideous carrots. Look at these things. This cheese, the, okay, so I said cheese, but I lied. This is actually soap. <laughs> 
she used like little random pieces of a what is this called like not stationary it's, uh, it's just paper but i feel like there's a different way to say this um yeah yeah scrapbooking paper so she wraps them all like in different ones so i was trying to figure it out i set these in the um in the guest room in the guest bathroom so like when a guest comes by they can take it or when lewis runs out of soap he takes it and tomatoes when did you start picking tomatoes cheese we got this habanero no pepper jack this was a pepper jack cheese this is so soft there's a brie with apricot in it and then i think this was just a smoky cheddar this one looks so good like whenever it's like orange like that on the side man and that is the farmer's market haul i spent i feel like almost the same as last time well last time i did get meat meat's more expensive but the vegetables were definitely they felt cheaper and better quality but you never know oh i should pickle the onions yeah. can pickle onions sounds good next up a family trip to the thrift oh my gosh girl i gotta lock the door i'm not trying to get caught slipping nala with her new froggy shirt my mom and jay up there thrifting doll hairs doll hairs we're in Aurora. We always get our rental cars from a little spot back there called Hertz. Ever heard of it? It's a local shop. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know what I do? I find the, I get some of these plates like this, these glass ones, and I'm using them under my, saw my under your paint plants. Under my plants. Yeah, I saw that yeah. on the internet. It's way cheaper than buying them other stupid things. You we should buy some sets. All these have things on them. Just for like the basement. Six pieces for twelve dollars. Twelve doll hair. Actually, that's kind of a lot. <laughs> Wait, six pieces for twelve dollars. Two dollars each. It's giving goodwill. They have a lot. This is a gigantic store. Cheese Louise. Cheese Louise. Mhm. 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 Oh, the pots? Yeah. You still have your pan that looks like that? I have. Do I have it still? I don't know. It was so big. Is this the little mini pancake pan? Where you make the puffing pancakes? Or, or is it like a bubble pan? I'm not sure. Have you ever seen them make the little mini pancakes that puff up and then they flip them with like a chopstick? Uh-uh. Oh. It kind of looks like that. I mean, this looks really old though, so I don't know if it's... What are these? I have no idea. You make little eggs. <laughs> what is that? You want me to ask the internet? Because they'll figure yeah, it out. Yeah, ask Kimmy. I have Jaden will go down there without his Crocs. Oh, hers is definitely cheating. She's cheating. Yeah, she's definitely cheating. She's, she's cheating an inch because she has a... You gotta move over. I'm 5'7". I'm no, well, you do have... Because you have Crocs on, so you'd have to do it without your Crocs. That's why she has a 66 and an 8. Yeah, I, they were, we had desks like this in Mexico, and they were so tight, I could barely get in there, bro. I was like, what you gonna do with all this? Not, it's because I, I like the beads that it has. But can they even come off? Yes, it's strength. Um, oh, I can look for jewelry. That's not very much, but it has pretty beads. We just measured the kids. Nala's 5'5". Five, five. Five. Jay, it, we think it's at 5'7". Nala had her shoes on, and so we deducted an inch. Because yeah. it told me I was 5'5", five, five, and I had my shoes on. Jaden said he was five, seven and a half, but he's got the crocodilies, which are like at least a half an inch. It's not like he's got the platform ones. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I'm starting to get a little stressed out in here. This is giving uh, quarters and Jay, get out of here. <gasps> is this gonna have like someone else's grandma's recipes? Oh, dang it. Nothing, no recipes. Oh, Jay, we used to have one of these. It's like an ab roller thing. You laid back on it and then you would roll up and... Uh, we were living in the heyday of random uh, exercise equipment at the house. You guys remember the ab roller? Solomon was so good at that thing. It was like unheard of. Oh my gosh. In pretty good condition for being white. Yeah, look. I think Jane's going through a growth spurt. Come close to me. He's having a good old time with us. 
Is it a hockey stick person? Yeah. What you're missing was the hockey stick, clearly. Not the desire, you got that. <sighs> we are at Pop Shelf, which I've never been to. Um, they have regular stuff, like care products and stuff. Feminine care products. Kind of gives like a five below vibe, but it's um, because they use tampons. They use tampons, okay? There's nothing wrong with tampons, Jay. It's just a part of life. <laughs> What's that? Oh, a pill pod? So I use this as a makeup remover. <laughs> it's just face cream. It was a dollar when I used it. Um, but I would put it on my eyes and then just use a Kleenex. It would take all my mascara and stuff off. Probably not the best, but yeah. So we just came to check it out because we've never been here before. But it does just give kind of a five below vibe jewelry party stuff they do balloons here too i believe um little crafty stuff umbrella <laughs> it's kind of just whatever you can find i guess so i got this for five bucks we were next door to tj maxx so we're at tj maxx now look at oh look God. at his face it's like not quite right it looks like he's pretending to be david but he's not sure if he should be him I'm not sure. She looks sophisticated. She's so sophisticated, Jay. Look at her. I love things like that. This one is just a bunch of salt. Period. Lick bunch it. Of pink salt. Supposed to lick it. What about smelling salts? Hey. Want? Something you want. Actually, they have this Coca Cola ice fridge thing. What's it called? A uh, cooler. A cooler. Look, we let me show it. it to you. It's like $179 or well, something. The big one is. Well, the other one's like 160. They, it's on wheels, so it's actually pretty nice. Oh, uh, well, when you need more I can, clothes, I can wheel this around outside and make some money. Jay, what do you mean? You're gonna go start selling drinks in the neighborhood? Yeah. You, you, you know what? I like that like adventurous spirit. I what I was saying you. earlier is that the lady we got coffee from was just doing it out of like one of those little carts that, like, you know, like the little baletero carts, and. um she just had an umbrella and it was really cute. She had very simple stuff. Anyway, how cute are these? Little this freaking ice thing. thing. And then you can crack your thing open. And I like this one more. It's pretty good. I know. I like it too. I just... No, because I don't need it. Oh, I need it. Well. Yeah. Go make some cash. I can, pay, I can pay off my debt if you buy this for me. If I are you in debt? I'll Jayden. be in debt for you if you buy this for me. What so debt? So I can go re wheel it around. And sell some drinks and ice cream. Who are you gonna sell to? You need a permit. What if you get shut down? I'm not, I don't. Yeah, he's gonna go sell drinks and ice, ice, cream. ice cream. I love the entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah. Ooh, and the fact that I nailed I that word. Dang, you're leaving I, me hanging. I will do it. Oh, I don't know. Okay, Thanks, Brody. You have to do the hair. Woogity, woogity, woogity. I'm obsessed with this cooler. I, I wish I had a reason. I can pay you back if you give it to me. Jay, if you I want to become paletero, like say the word. I'll get you a cart. Paletero. Bruh. Give me the call. Jay, if you want to figure out what permits you need to go start I selling permits, paletas on the street. Yes, you yeah, you do. You're not going to get by in your good looks alone. <laughs> Some little Karen out there is going to call the policia on you, friend. I'm not lying about this. Do you want a job? Yeah. You work for me. You're you know, already I'm employed. I'm not getting the money right now. I know, but like 50-year-old Jaden is going to be so hype about where balling. all the money's going. You're going to be balling out of control, bro. I'm going to go skydiving as a 50-year-old. Just like Gramps. <laughs> Grandpa did that exact thing. He was a 60-year-old, though. No, he was 50. He did it. Wait, was he? Okay, let's go ask Grandma. Both of you go. Why are you being weird? Anyway, I just found this now that I got rid of them. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I was gonna try this anyway, and I have they have like the little mini version for four bucks, which is perfect. But this is a medicated relief gel. I'd heard. Um, actually, I hadn't heard anything about this one. I'd heard about the cooler one. But for four bucks, this is plenty, you know. Ugh, brothers, huh? Yeah, she said that stuff for you also. Like I said, try having four older ones. At least I'm old. Like I said, maybe try being That's nice true. to me. That's true. Dang, try being nice to him. My brothers were terrors to me. So I was yeah, nice to them. A I was never mean to them. 
She's a terrorist. She's not a terrorist. To me, she is. She's I, still she not a terrorist. She destroys everything. And she's... She's... I just raised my own stuff for fun. No, you... no, I need that. Hello. Oh, I thought Jane, Jane took it and then okay, gave it well, to you. Look at you. Look at you and look I at you. I didn't take that. You guys are just the best. Hola. No. But I finally got a salad spinner, which Jaden knows. I've been talking about this for a long time. It's... And I kept saying, I'm not going to get one. I don't need one. I don't need one. But we have Costco. We passed like 50 at Costco. We like, oh, they were big though. put it into the car. It was, it was like, big. It was big. It was a big salad spinner. This I one. Put it into the call and then we came back around again. You know, like, yeah, nah, no. I don't need it. This one was twenty bucks, which I felt like was kind of high. And um, it's a good one though. It does look good. I like that this is glass. So this is glass, and I have been washing a lot of salad because I have lettuce. So you gotta Sorry. hold it down to do it. It's so satisfying. You see, it's big. Uh-huh. So it doesn't do a ton. Equally. It doesn't do a ton, but it's gonna do enough for my personal salad. So I'm actually very happy to have this and I'm glad it's glass because a lot of the ones that I see are all plastic. And um yeah, I just prefer this. And then we didn't get a whole lot there. What is this? Oh, this is one, oh, of, that's the, my, one of the soaps that's my soap earlier. Oh, this one smells good. I know. I also got this. Jaden got these two. Which he I really like the these brands. smoothest hands ever. His hands are, I, I mean, I don't wish you could feel them because it's, it's a little weird, weird. But like, this little boy has the softest hands ever. I was tired of having dry hands. Yeah. Um, and then I bought this, which I'm going to wash up right now. It was only five bucks. I don't like how aggressive it flips open because it, it kind of pinched my finger, but... Anyway, it's a little mason jar, and I like that it's like kind of a bubble bottom. So I want to start pickling. That's kind of my next thing. Because it seems like pretty easy to pickle things, but I wasn't like interested in starting like for real, for real pickling. I did buy that ball jar uh, book that I showed you guys about preserving. And um, I've, you know, been looking into it and they have pickling stuff in there. My, that Joanna Gaines cookbook, the latest one, that one has pickling stuff in there as well. But I was like, well, I'll do refrigerator pickles. Not like I'm gonna pickle and can, but I bought the Kosher Dill Pickles Refrigerator Pickle Mix, which just comes in like a little packet like this. And Menards, if you have a Menards near you, I don't know why I would have never considered them. They have a ton of different mason jars and lids and pickling this and pickling this and pickling that. And they, it's like they have a whole mason ball ball section and it has a ton of stuff so I don't need it I don't need all that stuff right now I don't want to have it just to have it I'm buying things as I need them um and I actually find use for them versus getting things in oh I have a jar for that kind of situation and I'm trying to save my jars so I have been doing that and it's that's working out too but I wanted to do refrigerator pickles so I bought both of these this one is liquidy so supposedly with this one all you need are the pickling cucumbers. And then very exciting, I bought a singular battery for $2, but I need this for my garage door opener. And I forgot I bought this at TJ Maxx as well, so I'm gonna use this sunburn stuff. All right, buddy. I'm gonna put this stuff over here, wash it up. I'm gonna put in my AirPods because I'm so excited to get back to this book. It's so good. And I just wanna kind of vibe out. I'm getting pretty tired. Um, Something, right? I don't know. Oh, I got this at the thrift store. I got these really cute button ups. So I, I forgot about this. Stuff. These are so cute. She's gonna alter them. This I got at the thrift store so that I could make my own coffee syrup. And I could just kind of store it in here. Um, I thought this was really cute. Six bucks. It does need a very good clean. That's for sure. There's some gunk in there. Um, but yeah, for six dollars, like very cute. I could see it sitting next to my little like coffee station over there. Wash and cut the cucumbers. you hanging on the pickles thing so it's two days later but yesterday uh, yesterday 
it tasted like a pickle that was sitting in no it tastes like a cucumber that was sitting in pickle juice that's what it tasted like it didn't taste like a pickle it's not quite 48 hours later but it's like whatever i did this two days ago technically now it tastes like a pickle it doesn't taste like a pickle I've ever purchased at the store, but it tastes like a pickle. Okay, so if you're just like in a pinch trying to make some quick pickles, those little packets definitely work, uh, but I bet it would work better if you just do it like from scratch with the vinegar and the boiling and the da 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 And I am gonna do that because I have more cucumbers in there, but this works. I had some puff pastry sitting in the fridge and I wasn't gonna make this with it. If you guys remember, I think I mentioned it in a vlog. <laughs> I buy this asparagus today, and then we've had some salami sitting in the fridge. I wanted to try out the new cheese. So this is a habanero cheddar, I believe. So good. And then some Swiss. I don't really like Swiss cheese, but Jaden likes Swiss cheese. So I had some Swiss, and I wanted to use a little bit of that up. We're doing these little puff pastry roll-ups. I did these with you guys before, except normally it's with asparagus and prosciutto, and the cheese is Gruyere, but these ones have that habanero. This one actually has a piece of bacon that was left over. I had like one and a half slices. This one has Swiss, and then the rest have Swiss and salami, but they're so easy. You just cut them, put your cheese, very well seasoned asparagus. This is just one big fat boy that I have left. Oh, whoops. I normally put the meat underneath that. So the equivalent, like I said, I normally do prosciutto or speck. Those are really, really good, but we're using what we have here, and then you just wrap it and um, you close it. And then you top it with just an egg wash and some pepper. All right, they have been egg washed and covered in black pepper and a little bit of like um, finishing salt. And I'm just gonna put these into a 400 degree oven for like 10 minutes. I forgot how long they take, so we're gonna say 10 minutes. So we are out of a sourdough loaf right now and I hadn't prepped for that by like using, you know, part of my discard to start a bubbly, you know, like a, a big amount that I could use because you need like 450 grams of like an active bubbly culture, I guess. So today, since I couldn't do that, um, I just used my discard, which was like not even that much, like half a cup or something. And I'm making sourdough bagels. So this is, the recipe called for a cup of discard, but I didn't have that much. Um, and then the rest is just, you know, regular stuff, flour. This does have yeast in it and salt, sugar, whatever. And so we're letting this rise for like another hour and we're gonna make some sourdough bagels. I think I'm gonna do, like I wanna do an Asiago, but I literally don't have Asiago cheese, so probably not. We're gonna make bagels, I'll store them, and then tomorrow for breakfast, if the kids wanted toast, they can have a bagel instead okay this was after like 12 minutes they probably could have stayed in there a couple more minutes but i wanted to go sit down and get back to my book so i'll try one they've been sitting here for like i don't know probably an additional 10 minutes uh it's almost time for me to do my dough i did a tiktok on, no instagram probably both a tiktok or instagram or both on these Ooh, cheese has a little kick to it these are really good to make for like a crowd if we have people over for like a fight or book club or whatever because even when they cool down they still taste really good i think i might have made them for thanksgiving too no i don't think i did but anyway they're good for a crowd but they're just super easy all you need is some puff pastry really and then whatever vegetable you can probably do this with green beans or i don't know i'm sure you could do it with some other stuff whatever kind of cheese whatever kind of meat yeah these are really good Next step is that you boil them for 60 seconds, 30 seconds on each side in boiling water with a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of sugar. And then you put them in a 425 degree oven for 25 minutes. All right, we have cinnamon sugar. This is the cocoa cinnamon sugar. Two that have like truffle seasoning with a little bit of Parmesan. We'll see how that cooks up. And then three, everything. Um, yeah, they puffed up a bit when I threw them in the water, so. Hopefully those come out super good. We'll see. And there you go, 425 exactly. My phone died, but I gotta show you guys the bagels and how they came out. I ended up, I ended up just doing them for 20 minutes. What do you think? Um, these ones, you know, could be cuter, but I think overall they actually look great. Like the top has a nice little kind of crust to it, but they're still squishy and soft. And then I don't know, they look good to me. Cut the bagels and I put them in this little pan. 
So I'm gonna wrap these up so the kids can get them when they wake up or whatever. And then I wanna try just the bagel. So this is the bottom part of a cinnamon one. So it should theoretically just taste like nothing. You know, I mean, not nothing, but a bagel. Not that. Yeah. Pretty good, I'm into it. So I feel like they're a little bit chewier than a regular bagel, I think because it's a sourdough bagel, but I really like it. You made a bagel from scratch? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Feel like you yeah. <laughs> What does some scratch mean? From nothing. From, I had that, which I've been. You got what? My sourdough starter, which I started a few weeks ago. Now it's active, I'm working. From so scratch, that means it's this. I did that. Well, Mom, you have nothing to work with, just your nails. Mm -hmm. From the this is nail powder. This is some of my skin cells, hair. No. It's just all natural ingredients. A little pea. You know, whatever. Whatever I can get my hands on. My body produced these bagels. These are body bagels. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> no, this is just your flavor. You should love these ones. If anyone should love these, it's you. And Crash. Crash, you want a bagel? Okay, Crash. Oh, he said he'll put he'll put a little something in the next batch for you. Okay, the bagels were a success. Flippy rollover thingies earlier were a success. The whole day was a success. What a day. See you later.